Hello guys, welcome to H2O, the A to Z of chemistry. I am Dr. Ritu Johar, your educator for this course, the atomic structure. And today we will begin with lecture one from the course, where I would be briefly introducing you to the course. We would see what all topics we are going to cover in this course. And then we would be quickly revising what all topics related to the atomic structure we've already studied in the course called as some basic concepts of chemistry, right? Chiefly, we would be focusing on the Dalton's atomic theory because that is the first step into the journey of the structure of the atom, right? So before moving further, first of all, let me give you the salient feature of all a so here we have tried to uh, incorporate a thorough knowledge of the NCRT book text because the NCRT book as far as chemistry is concerned is going to be very important for you. And most of the students do neglect uh, reading the NCRT book. So we have tried to incorporate all the important points from the NCRT book so that you are not at a loss in any way. But still, this is my request to you all. Whatever portion we are finishing in one lecture, just please do read that portion from the NCRT book. That would really help you a lot. Then we've tried to put all the additional content which is required to excel in any competitive exam, be it uh, JE mains, advanced, NEET, AIMS, or even examinations like NET and GATE. All the topics, they have been uh, discussed at a great detail so that all the topics of yours, they are crystal clear and that is actually what helps excelling in any exam. And then all the questions uh, from ranging from easy to uh, the difficult level, we are trying to discuss everything so that we can help you prepare to the topmost level. And then there would be an edge section for all the uh, students who really want to be on the top so that they can have an edge over all the students. So that would be exclusively for the competitions. Uh, so I hope you really enjoy that all. So now the list of the topics which you should know after you finish the course. So in the journey of this course, you are going to learn the discovery of the fundamental particles like the electrons, protons, and neutrons. Then we would be discussing the atomic number isotopes and isobars. Then uh, all the scientists who ever contributed to the structure of the atom, we are going to discuss them all in detail. So we would be discussing the Thomson's model and its limitation. Then came the Rutherford experimental model, its limitations. Then uh, we would be discussing the dual nature of matter and light. Bohr's atomic model, its limitation. Along with that, we would be discussing the de Broglie equation, the Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, the concept of shells, subshells, orbitals in an atom, the quantum numbers, the shapes of s, p, and d orbitals, rules for filling the electrons in the orbitals like Aufbau's principle, Pauli's exclusion principle, Hun's rule of maximum multiplicity, and then you would be able to write the electronic configuration of the atoms. You will be able to explain the stability of the half-filled and completely filled orbitals after you have learned all these things in this course. So I hope you will enjoy your journey with us. We will first of all begin with uh, discussing the brief history of the atom, uh, which we have already discussed in the course, some basic concepts of chemistry. So the atom, first of all, the definition of atom, that atom is the smallest particle that participates in a chemical reaction. And now how did this word atom come into being? So according to history, there were many Greek philosophers, Indian philosophers in the time of probably 400 BC, so many years back. 
so the greek philosopher one of them was democrates who was very uh, famous and they all thought that atoms are the fundamental building blocks of matter and what the school of thought was that if you keep on subdividing matter ultimately we would reach up to a point where matter would not be further divisible and that point where the matter cannot be further divided they call that smallest particle of matter to be atom why because atom is derived from the greek word atomio where the prefix a means not and the word tomio means cut hence together if you put the word atom comes from the greek word meaning uncuttable or indivisible so they thought that the atom is indivisible this is the smallest particle of matter which can participate in a chemical reaction and it is not divisible right so then there was a scientist dalton he was a british teacher and in the early uh, 1800s probably 1803 to uh, he started studying the greek concept of matter he was very much interested in it and he developed uh, a scientific way of studying all this what was given in the greek history and he uh, said that the atom was structureless and indivisible particle and he gave what is famously known as the dalton's atomic theory and we have already discussed the dalton's atomic theory in this course some basic concepts so i would just briefly revise that with you so that we can move further so the main postulates of the dalton's atomic theory are that matter is made up of very small indivisible particles called atoms and the atoms of the same element they are identical in all respects be it mass size shape and then we have atoms of the different elements they differ in properties and weights next he said was that the compounds are formed when atoms of different elements combine in a definite ratio atoms are neither created nor destroyed in a chemical reaction however chemical reactions they involve the reorganization of atoms now the dalton's atomic theory was able to explain the laws of chemical combination like the law of conservation of mass law of constant composition law of multiple proportion law of reciprocal proportion he could not explain the law of uh, gaseous volume which was given by gay lussac so we already discussed all this and one more thing that it failed to explain the results of many experiments especially what we are concerned in this uh, course is that it was known that substances like glass or ebonite when they are rubbed with silk or fur they get electrically charged right so he could not explain things like this and many other things which already we have discussed so there were demerits there were limitations of the dalton's atomic theory and then in the late uh, 19th century and the beginning of the 20th century there were many experiments be performed by many scientists like thomson rutherford neil bohr and slow and steadily they came to realize that atom is made up of sub atomic particles like the electrons protons and neutrons and this was a concept very different from that of dalton and that is what our journey into the structure of atom is going to be we are going to discuss all these experiments which were done by the scientists of that time and how we have come to uh, a level of high understanding of the structure of atom so i hope you will really enjoy this course with me we will meet again for lecture 2 on the course the atomic structure wherein we will be discussing first of all the discovery of the fundamental particles we will begin our journey into the discovery of the fundamental particles the first being the electron so if you have any suggestion you have comments 
you want to uh, give your feedback please do mail us at h2ochemistry@gmail.com if you like a course please do click on the like icon subscribe to our courses and even click on the bell icon so that you get a notification as and when we put up a new lecture for you a new course for you i hope you really enjoy with us have a nice time enjoy yourself